pool of water I walked into that made me on amazement at Drake's wet pants, which then shortly after gave me wet pants. Hey everyone, it's part two of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Picking up right where we left off, basically. Uh, we're down here in this uh, deep cave system, I believe. Um, not really like... Well, I mean, I, I mean, I, technically it's a cave, but like the entrance wasn't cave-like. You, you know what I mean? Like the uh, opening to this was not really like a... Well, you we just kind of walked down something, didn't we? It was like a staircase thing. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're playing Uncharted Drake's Fortune. This is going to be great. Might be a short Let's Play, though. I feel like this is not going to be that long. Now, I do remember one thing being that this game was definitely the hardest Uncharted if you're playing on the crushing difficulty. Every Uncharted game requires you to complete the game on the hardest difficulty, which is crushing. And this was definitely the toughest game on crushing difficulty. In fact, Uncharted 2 and 3, I believe, were at least from what I remember, was kind of a breeze. Not not a breeze, but, like, definitely... And especially for a trophy hunter like me that's gone through tons of games on the hardest difficulty, they were definitely, like, a, like pretty pretty damn doable. But I remember Uncharted 1 being pretty fucking difficult uh, during certain sections on crushing difficulty. And shit's about to go down, by the way. Whoa! Oh! Oh, yeah, you know how it is. The classic Uncharted oh shit moment where there's just crazy shit going on. Classic epic set pieces right here. Oh, 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 Sully! Oh, Whew. oh, and look at that. There's a convenient sort of thing set up for Sully to just get across. And I just went through all this, this crazy shit. That's how it always works out for Drake. Drake always deals with all that unlucky stuff. I mean, honestly, this guy should totally be dead. I mean, realistically, if we're really in a subjective, realistic if we're, like, looking at it in, in that sort of way, this guy should totally be just dead as shit. From all the crazy shit he's done. He also should not be able to sleep at night, considering how many innocent men he's just killed. Well, they're not all innocent. They're all trying to kill him, too, but... Um, just think of all the people Drake's murdered. People always talk about that. Like, how many people Drake has murdered, and, he, and he's just a... He's just a fortune hunter. Like, he's just a treasure hunter, basically. Like, he's just... He's just a mass murderer. <laughs> Which I never realized until someone pointed it, like somebody pointed it out on a forum I was reading or something. Like, oh, Drake's just a fucking crazy ass mass murderer. And I was like, yeah, yeah, he is. And you never th like you, you think about like, okay, well, m multiple games like that's a thing, but for some reason there's so like, like a more human side to Nathan Drake. Where you're just like, geez, this regular funny guy's a mass murderer. Okay, so what's going on here? So the trail's cold. Just so I'm up to date on everything. Son of a bitch. I know that pirates are about to come. Like, we're gonna be fighting our way out of here. And, uh, there's, uh, uh, I mean, you should know by now. I, I would hope that you've all played Uncharted, but I won't spoil it just yet. We'll wait until we get there, but we'll talk about the ending. Because the ending of these games, a lot of people, you know, are, are skewered on opinions, but, um... Like I said, we'll talk about we'll talk about it when we get there because I have some some choice words. Yeah, they're around here somewhere, aren't they? Pretty sure they are. Now what? I could have sworn that I would have to start shooting people, unless that's like a difficulty thing where they actually remove sections of a game where you're shooting people or, they're, or they'll despawn enemies there's something you don't see every day yeah look at that I remember this do you remember I'll be damned to come up the river during flood season gotten stuck <laughs> let's check it out huh no wait 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 something about this feels kind of hinky hinky you act like you've never seen a german u-boat in the middle of the jungle before uh, i'm being serious nate <laughs> i tell you what why don't you stay here 
I'll check it out myself. I'll call you if I run into any Nazis. Yeah, right. You do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on to this for me, will ya? Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Okay. Just get right in that water. Another thing I also love about the Uncharted games is uh, opening new chapters. I, I, I just love how it the, the text overlays when the gameplay starts. Like, it's such a small thing, but... Uh, we all know I, I I greatly appreciate really small details in games and like that's not even a sort of detail thing. I just really love that that decision in terms of gameplay. It's not even like a gameplay thing. I just love that sort of like art direction. You you consider that art direction? But I, I like I just love the little over, like text overlay, and they do it for every every Uncharted game. I I just love it for some reason. Because they really, they it looks kind of classy in like later missions and and the other Uncharted games. It just looks really good. I like I find the weirdest. I like I appreciate some of the weirdest things. Some of the smallest, minute things that people might not give a shit about. I give tons of shit about. One time, um, and this was this was when Sony re was like redesigning the PlayStation Three for the first time, slimming it down, and. Uh, I had noticed that in Sony's marketing materials and on PlayStation hardware, they were uncoloring the PlayStation symbol. We all know that the PlayStation symbol it used to be colored. It was like red and it has like green and yellow in it and everything. And I love the colored PlayStation symbol. I mean, now of course, recently they don't do this anymore. In the last few years, uh, they'll just uh, completely white it out, black it out, gray it out, or whatever. And even on the hardware, they do this. Um, and I like that really bothered me actually. I like I loved the colored PlayStation symbol. And one time I made a thread on uh, Sony's official site on the PlayStation forums, and I was like, "Does this bother anybody else?" And pretty much everybody said like, "No, like it's just you. Like what's what's the matter with you?" And I, I you know I I <laughs> I made that thread and I'm just like, man, I I guess I'm the really the only person that is bothered by this. I love the colored PlayStation symbol. So I'm just I just love weird shit like that. Tetanus shot. Tetanus shot. Oh my god, I can't believe I just pronounced it as Tetanus shot. I'm I'm somewhat mentally handicapped in this episode. If you have a mentally handicapped loved one and you're now offended, I'm sorry, but my humor knows no bounds. Nothing should be censored. Censorship. Censor. Censorship sucks. That's what I was trying to say. Couldn't quite say it. Oh, I should make it like Killzone. Twist the six axis. Although there is six axis support for this game with the grenades, you can like aim the controller in a certain direction so you can choose the distance of the grenade throw, which is kind of cool but also kind of stupid. It's one of those shoehorned motion control things that Sony was doing with their first party developers. It's like, it's like whatevs, man. People ain't gonna use that shit. Right, that dude's dead. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna assume he's not gonna make it. That's gross. It's got a stink too. Huh. Now where'd you get this, my decomposing friend? I think the trail just got warm again. How so? Well, I just met a guy with pockets full of Spanish gold. Only the coins are stamped with a mint mark I've never seen before. You're kidding me. Looks like our German friends had a little secret. I seriously just wanted to pay attention to that just now. I'm, Dude, I haven't played this game in so long. Like, I legit am, like, really enjoying this right now. Like, man, Uncharted. Such a fucking good game. I love the dialogue, dude. It's good dialogue. It's really convincing dialogue. Some games, you, you hear the dialogue and you're just like, man, like, this would never happen. Like, this just sounds stupid. Or, you know, you can tell the actors are really phoning it in or what have you. Or the, the talent just wasn't there. Or the proper direction wasn't there. Um, you know, this game really does have a lot of that stuff. A lot of it. And a lot of people think Uncharted 1 is, like, a mediocre game. Like, they really, like, don't like Uncharted 1 or just think, oh, it's alright. Or it has a lot of issues or what have you. And um, I think you guys all meet, know me at this point. 
that's their opinion or whatnot, they're totally entitled to it, but I, like, love games. Like, there's not many games where I, I can straight up hate or dislike. Like, I love this game. I'm in the captain's quarters. Get this, he's still here. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, it looks like he was killed. Ripped to shreds, actually. Oof, what a way to go. Yeah, sounds terrible. Take his wallet. You're all hearts, Sully. Gotcha. Are you all right? <laughs> Sully, you're not gonna believe this. Try me. I think I found our missing page. You're kidding. Looks like Drake and our German pals were after the same treasure. And I've got the map that's gonna lead us right to it. Nate, this better not be another wild goose chase. We've gotta get something out of this trip or... Or what? Sully? You there? Sullivan! Oh man, I love it. <laughs> I fucking love the dialogue in this game. <laughs> it's like every every like thirty minutes of this game, they find something new, and, and Drake just goes, to just just he's like, oh, you're not gonna believe this, and so he's like, try me. Tells him, you're kidding. Like no way. Like oh my god. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. Oh man, this game. This game is making me smile. Oh no. That's probably bad. Yeah, it's not good. Is there like a countdown section for that? No, okay. Maybe I'm thinking of a jack too. <laughs> Hello. Hey, hey. Friends of yours, Sully? I'm Gabriel Roman. Yeah, I know who you are, asshole. Manners, young man. This is just business. Get over there. Uh, easy. Put your hands up. Hi, right, they're up. See, your friend owes me money, Mr. Drake. A lot of money. So when he told me that you two were onto something big, the find of a lifetime, he said, well, I was intrigued. But he's made grand promises before, haven't you, Victor? And here we are again. Another fool's errand. Jeez, does he always go on like this? Take it easy, Navarro. <laughs> so, I'm afraid the time is up. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with you, Nate. They heard everything. Just give him the map. Slowly. What does a Krieg's marine map have to do with El Dorado? What, you think this is a coincidence? The Germans were after the same treasure. That map has something to do with it. So, we square? For now. But just in case you need a reminder... Hey, come Ooh. on, leave him out of it. Yeah, don't you guys usually just cut off a finger or something? <laughs> That's far too vulgar. No, I think this will hurt him a bit more. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Roman. He's got nothing to do with Sully! Sully! You son of a bitch! Ah, shit, I'm out of here. This part in particular, uh, sucks a uh, fucking cock if you're playing on, uh, Crushing Difficulty. In fact, that's probably what this whole Let's Play will amount to. I'll tell you all the things that suck on Crushing Difficulty. Because this was 
the toughest Uncharted. Um, yeah, dude, you'll just be running and you'll get like two bullets in the back of you and you're done. Like that small little section right there. Like you'll just keep dying over and over and over again. It sucks. Especially because that one guy comes up out of nowhere. Whoa there, cowboy. <sighs> That's related me at the dock. What the hell are you doing here? Listen, I'm a good enough reporter to follow a couple of no luck tomb robbers. Shh. It went this way. I radio ahead. <gasps> well, you're down to one tomb robber now. Sully's dead. What? Yeah. And we're next if we don't get out of here. Oh, God, I'm, I'm sorry. Please tell me you have a gun. Of course. Oh, thanks. All right, come on. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah, okay, here's what I was thinking about. I was trying to remember what portion of the game where you're near all this, like, temple stuff and you're shooting these guys. Like, I remember this part, ha like, it happened at some point. Oh, it's R2 to reload. Okay, finally. Holy shit, I finally figured it out. Alright. I think now we're all good to go. Or at the very least, slightly good to go. I'm gonna pick up an AK soon, too, I think. Yeah, there we go. Only have two weapons, though. Gotta choose wisely. Gotta choose wisely. Uh, what was something I did recently? I'll tell, ooh, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you guys this. And you guys all know I'm, in, I'm into my fast food. I like my fast food. I'll tell you what I've been really digging lately. Wendy's um, pulled pork, like their pulled pork menu items. Um, and I never really, really, really was a huge fan of pulled pork. But I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm fucking digging their like pulled pork stuff. They got like a pulled pork burger or a, pro, a, pull, a regular pull, pulled pork burger like sandwich and then a pulled pork cheeseburger which I cheeseburger which I haven't had yet and then they have pulled pork like cheese fries now if you don't like fast food then you're probably not gonna like the regular sandwich but I'll tell you what dude the cheese fries are fucking amazing I mean and I'm the kind of person who I'll tell you straight up like if you don't like fast food then you're definitely not gonna like this burger or this this or that but if you don't like fast food I honestly think that you would love like the these fucking pulled pork cheese fries dude they're delicious like holy shit it's basically like poutine without like you know the gravy and the obvious things that make poutine poutine but it's fries uh cheese like like melted like like cheese and shit and then it's got red onion barbecue sweet barbecue sauce or you can choose whatever type of barbecue sauce which is it could be it could be like sweet smoky or spicy i think um, I always get sweet, and then obviously there's like pulled pork in there, and uh, it's it's so fucking good. Like I'm like as I'm eating it, I'm thinking to myself like, damn, even people that hate fast food would probably love this. That's how much I was enjoying it. But I also like the uh, just the regular sandwich too. It's like a it's on a brochet bun, and it's got like a uh, like coleslaw on it, like as a topping. And uh, I don't know, I'm really I'm really into it right now. I had it twice this week, which is, you know. Dis disgusting f for you to think of probably but we all know I'm a disgusting slob and I love fast food so I'm totally I'm totally okay with it Don't judge me tell me how disgusting it is but I love it I love it I love it I love it it's my one vice man I don't drink I don't smoke alcohol <laughs> I was just about to say smoke alcohol oh my god I need sleep I don't drink alcohol I don't smoke fucking cigarettes or even marijuana for that matter like oh dude like that's my vice it's fucking fast food come on elena let's get up this uh this your ladder so i've been really digging that lately um any other fast food i've been eating that i've been really into hmm whenever i go to mcdonald's i get and it's kind of like a not a secret item but it's an item that's not like advertised i get a buffalo ranch mcchicken which is a regular mcchicken sandwich but it's got ranch and like their buffalo sauce which is actually it's really good really 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 yummy okay but that's because i love their buffalo sauce like i love their buffalo sauce it's so fucking good like if i could buy it in bottles i would and i think i've discussed my love for the just that sauce before it's just uh like how could you not like why like why though why why don't you sell at mcdonald's there's so many things i would buy but they just don't they just don't sell it to me it's like it's like it's it's fry from futurama like shut up and take my money and they won't they won't do it they won't take my money boom 
The blood kind of looks like not good in this game. Just one of those elements of the game that actually does not... It just doesn't age well. But the game still looks very good. But man, you know, whenever I look at Uncharted 3, which is a game from 2011, that game still looks on fucking believable And it's always one of those things where, you know, you see, like, the PC Master Race people or what have you, or uh, somebody that will legitimately say, like, oh, I think PS4 and X1 are, like, underpowered machines or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I was just, I, I was just thinking to myself, like, dude, look at Uncharted 3, and look at the hardware that was on. Like, like, oh my god, like, I don't even care, man. Games just, oh, that game looked fucking amazing for the hardware it was on. It looks gorgeous. And, like, PS4 and X1 games do, they, they do, they look fantastic. And I'm, you know, I'm not really a PC guy. Like, I have a good computer. Granted, it's a Mac, so I'm not gonna ever fucking play games on it. And that's the decision I chose, because I knew I don't, because I know I don't play computer games. So I'm like, okay, I'll just buy a fucking Mac. But, um, you know, I have a really powerful computer. So if I was going to, like, say, play Bioshock Infinite, which I could on a Mac, I could run that game at the highest damn settings possible. But it's whatever. I, I honestly don't care for it. I care to do that. Not taken. Do you have a good memory? Yeah, why? UK 2642. You got that? Yeah, what is it? It's Krieg's Marine coordinates. I think I know where the Spanish took El Dorado. El Dorado? The problem is, so that the bastards will kill Sully. Damn it! If the Spanish found the treasure, they had to move it there, to that island. And Drake followed them. Well, what are we waiting for? I'll get the story, and you get whatever it is you're after. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hey, this isn't going to be a vacation, you know. I can take care of myself. Besides, you owe me one. I suppose I do. We're on the trail of the lost treasure of El Dorado, and it's brought us here to this tiny island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Let's get a closer look. I hope we're the first ones here. Will we discover the ruins of a forgotten colony and a fortune in Spanish gold? Or does the island have darker secrets in store for us? That should keep him from changing the channel. Whoa! What the hell was that? An anti-aircraft fire? This is so not cool! Oh crap! We're on fire! Enough with the damn camera! We gotta bail out! Bail out! Now would be a good time to look! I hope these things still work! We'll find out in a second. Have you ever done this before? Of course! You just jump, count to five, and pull the cord! Now go! Are you coming? I'm kinda busy right now! Get going!
Oh, look at those Good textures that have not loaded. Holy shit. Is missing. Most likely dead. Okay, I'm now realizing this is the part where the demo starts. When the game originally got a demo on the PlayStation Store. And this was the first time I was experiencing the game. So, so I will show you the very grain, the very pool of water I walked into that made me awe and amazement at Drake's wet pants. Which then, shortly after, gave me wet pants. I'll show you. It's right through these doors. It's coming up right here. Right, right around the bend. Ready? Ready? Oh. Oh. It's this very water. So the first time I played this, I just walked in this water. And I walked back out. And I was like, dude. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's so cool. Only to the part where I walked in. That's cool. And this was uh, 2007, mind you, so no one else had PlayStation 3s because they didn't fucking want one, <laughs> especially at that price. So whenever I had friends come over, I'd be like, listen, dude, this is fucking PlayStation 3 is dope, dude. Look at this. And uh, I, I would show them like I would show them like Gran Turismo. I'd show them Motorstorm and then I'd show them Drake's pants. And they'd be like, whoa, that's not half bad. And I was like, you're right. And I would also show them Rockstar's Rockstar Games Table Tennis because that I was also I had that game to before PS3 and that game was like really good looking I liked it a lot plus it was just like weird like like a table tennis game a full retail table table tennis game but like you know cuz cuz of what it was going for which was so simple it looked so good also I like the music to it too I came in some really like, chill music I just shot that guy in the dick, dude. Cartman would be really pissed off at me right now. Dude, you don't shoot a guy in the dick. You don't fucking do that, Butters. Where'd you shoot him? In the dick. God damn it, Butters. It's always fucking Butters' fault. And, of course, you're using the six axis to properly walk over logs and stuff. Which I did with uh, relative ease. You can thank me later. I was gonna say something while all those while the, all that cutscene was playing out, but I honestly don't remember what I was going to say now. So, kind of forgot. What was it? Fuck, dude. I had. To, I honestly think of things that I'm gonna talk to you guys about, and then, and then if a cutscene plays out or something, like I will honestly forget it. I don't remember what it was. Now I'm getting shot up big time here. This part, by the way, sucks on crushing. Well, this like th this kind of easy lead up is fine, but it's when in, it's when you get to like sort of arena places, which this one's coming up right here. This part really, really, really sucks. It's these sort of arena parts that really fucking blow uh, on crushing difficulty, and this right here sucks a fucking dick. I remember playing this part on crushing. And I had to play. I had to replay this part like a bunch of times, cause, uh, well, cause okay, I, well, I just kind of screwed. I just blew my cover. I don't even think you can stealth in this game, can you? I honestly don't remember. I was gonna try it, but they spotted me. Um, yeah, this part sucks, cause there's a lot of dudes. Um, and shotgun guys will come up soon, so you really gotta watch where you're going. And once you're like, you can't just stay back here, cause dudes up there will come and they'll shoot you from up there. So. It's hard to find good cover. I think for I think your best cover is like somewhere over here, because um, you still have a good view of everybody and uh, you're kind of bet your back's kind of against the wall. So that's like your best shot, really. Yeah, guys up there will start coming soon, so that's why you couldn't really stay all the way back here. And shotgun guys are gonna come over there, so. I'm trying to offer some sort of strategy if you're going to play this game on crushing. But for a lot of people, oh shit. For a lot of people, this was like still a lot of people's first, this was my first platinum trophy. Because this was the first game with a platinum trophy. Um, I mean when PlayStation trophies came out, um, the first game to have them was um, Super Stardust HD. And I got 100% in that game. And I remember when I got the 100%, I was like, where's my Platinum Trophy? Like, I thought I thought after you get all the trophies in the game, you get a Platinum Trophy. 
and I was like asking, like I was emailing people and stuff. I'm like, why? Wh what's going on? And they're like, and then I finally figured it, figured it out, and Sony finally finally answered it, which was um, platinum trophies are reserved for full retail games, and this was the first full retail game to get trophies, which means it had a full trophy list, and this was my first full platinum trophy. And that is uh, how it all began for me, basically. And then every game that got trophies from there on out, I would get a, try to get 100% in. And for the longest time, I had complete 100% trophies in literally every game of, like in existence, because there wasn't that many at the time back in 2008. Uh, and then obviously too many games came out, and I didn't keep up with it. But uh, for the longest time, I did keep up with 100, 100% trophies. I, f I believe the first game to come out, yes, the first game to come out with trophies, like, like it was, like it released with trophies that didn't need to be patched, was Pixel Junk Eden. That game natively came out with trophies at version 1.0 as a download title. And, uh, I, by the way, that's my favorite Pixel Junk game. I love Pixel Junk Eden. I love all the Pixel Junk games, but, uh, yeah, definitely, like, Pixel Junk Eden's my favorite. Oh shit, it's the shotgun dude. Oh my god, I have no weapons. Or no ammo. Wow, this kind of sucks. Shit, 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 shit. I'm a stick. See, this would be even worse if you were playing this on Crushin. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I need... Oh, there's ammo right there. Uh, excuse me. Oh, shit. I need this ammo. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank God I'm playing on easy and I can just sort of do this like a dick. Okay. You need to stop. Oh, you definitely need to stop. Don't come close, please. Okay, I just, want, I just don't want to die. There we go. Fuck that dude up. Hardcore, man. Yeah, I love Pixel Junk Eden. So if you're uh, at all like looking at the Pixel Junk games or wondering about them or what have you, a lot of people love Monsters. That's their favorite one. That's like the tower defense game. I really loved Eden. I feel like that's unappreciated. Um, it's hard to explain the like gameplay of Eden. It's just like I don't know. It's it's weird. It's, you're like this little you're you're this little dude called a Grimp, and you just like you latch onto like plants and seeds and you pollinate other plants and you um, explore these big ass levels that take like three that'll take like two hours to fully like explore and but your each level is timed but you can keep re-upping your time by grabbing like these like little dots around the level or what have you or it's really um it's crazy but I'm really proud of Eden's trophies because I have 100% trophies in them, obviously. But I did it without a guide. And doing Pixel Junk Eden without a guide, it's like it's it's like like doing it's like doing any like game and collecting all the collectibles without a collectible guide. Like it's just like something you don't do, right? It's like, "Oh, if you get uncharted, you know, there's like there's treasures like you know, you're always going to use a guide, right? Like, you're not going to just, like, literally try and do it on your own. And if you actually do, then God bless you. But most people actually just, like, just, yeah, they'll just follow a guide or whatever. What am I supposed to... Where am I going, by the way? Why, why is this not clear to me? Oh, that's why. Because I'm going over here. So, um... Or maybe, or wait, or maybe I'm not? Why can't I get up there? Okay, now I can. Um, but yeah, Pixel Junk Eden, like, it's just... It's too big. Like, the levels are so... Did someone shoot me, by the way? Am I fucking losing it? Um, yeah, the levels are... The levels are way too big. Somebody is shooting me. And we're way over 30 minutes, I just realized. God damn it. Uh, everybody, that's the end of uh, Uncharted Part 2. Um, I mean, that's it. <laughs> I'll see you in Part 3, is it? Yeah, Part 3. See you then.